Whitney was. A campaign of lies can hide anything. And with the magic of disinformation, mysterious deaths can be quickly brushed off as suicides. Even when all of the details don't add up. And there's so many stories now that just don't add up. Public assassinations can happen right in front of you, and you'll never know who was really behind it or why, as long as the powers that be push a great narrative, the same lie over and over and over again. Jeffrey Epstein infiltrated the highest ranks of every sector of power. You are going to learn a lot about the world today. He was into law enforcement, art, Wall Street, Silicon Valley, big business, real estate, philanthropy, media, academics, and banking. He even wormed his way into high fashion. He hung out with Nobel Prize winning scientists and billionaire arms dealers, movie directors, famous actors, journalists, and lots of politicians, including heads of state, not just here in America. And he has a very special bond with Bill and Hillary Clinton. We still don't know who took part in his many crimes, and they are vast. This is nothing short of political terrorism, theater facilitated by the media. Today's guest, as you will hear, I just finished it, and you will hear halfway through, I say, maybe it's halfway through, I said, I think this is the most important hour I have ever been a part of in broadcast. I've done this for 45 years. This is the most important person and hour you can you can spend. Today's guest has a gift for locating power and hunting it in its darkest corners. She realized that Epstein was not an anomaly an anomaly. She is somebody who has written Two volumes on just him, but you will see it is connected to entire networks of power and influence. A web of elites who operate under the principle that rules are for other people. Her two-volume book, One Nation Under Blackmail, the sordid union between intelligence and crime that gave rise to Jeffrey Epstein, is out. Keep your eye on this one. She is sharp. She is a massive threat to powerful people. Listen. If people will listen and do their own homework and just explore what she's saying, the game is up. 